We are in Minas Gerais, southwest Brazil, inside a semi deciduous forest near a small stream. And from now, I will show you some plants of Psychotria leucarpa, a small shrub from the Rubiaceae family that were used as a model to experiment, used to evaluate the influence of irrigation during the dry season, during a very dry year, 2012, and the influence of this water added on the plants in phenology. What I made for us irrigation upon the crown of 10 plants as you can see here the plants are with blue tags and I also irrigated Ten plants upon its roots, the plants with white tags. Plants not irrigated from August 2012 to October 2012 were tagged with orange and it were 15 plants. So we have here three treatments, plants irrigated upon the crown, plants irrigated upon the root, and a control treatment with plants not irrigated. As I said, from August to October 2012, in the plants irrigated, I used from 6 to 30 liters of water from 2 to 3 days by week and we are now in September of 2013 and as you can see the plants that received water upon the crown produced significantly more new leaves than plants not irrigated. But the plants irrigated upon the crown didn't differ from the plants irrigated upon the roots regarding number of new leaves. During this year of experiment, I measured some variables like, as I said, number of new leaves plus number of inflorescences, number of flowers, number of immature and mature fruits, flower size, fruit size, number of seeds, number of pollinators that visited the plants and until now from the data analyzed the only variable that showed significant differences was number of new leaves. So this experiment shows that irrigated plants didn't differ from irrigated plants regarding crown or root irrigation, but these plants differ from the plants not irrigated with orange tags. Some plants irrigated, some irrigated plants received near as 300 liters of water. So we can conclude that 
differences in rainfall pattern during the dry season from of this magnitude can provoke little changes in phenology. So my impression here is that plants are very conservative regarding changes in rainfall. So rainfall changes due to climatic changes maybe maybe don't change the phenology of these plants so much. Thanks.